Assaults. The a and &E staff are used to dealing with victims of assaults. And this nasty gash on Mark Nicholas's head is courtesy of a rather vicious headbutt. He's been attacked by a six-foot brute. But Mark's not been nutted by another Northampton local. His bizarre bash is courtesy of his best friend, Henry. I've been headbutted by my great dame dog. Come on, boy. Fetch. Mark and Henry had been playing in the living room. The Darth Dane thought the game was so great, he decided to show his master just how much he was enjoying it. But his enthusiasm got the better of him. And as he charged back, the monster-sized mutt leapt up, giving him a kiss of the Glasgow kind, leaving Mark with a hole in his head. He weighs about nine stone, and um, he's got a really hard skull. But when it comes to horse-sized Henry, girlfriend Chloe's not quite sharing the puppy love. He's not vicious at all, it's just the fact that he's completely brain dead and he can't ever be held accountable for his actions and he will knock into you without realising it. I don't put my head anywhere near his. I'm not that stupid. So, with Mark bearing the brunt of Henry's butt from all sides, it's down to Dr Jacob Wright to mop up this mauling mutt's mess. I'm probably going to have to put two or three stitches in that. What sort of stitches are we talking? We're just talking plastic strap over stitches. Tiny little things you can never see. Oh, it's a pro proper stitch, isn't it? But we're being headbutted by a dog. Usually animals go with teeth. Because the cut's deep, the stitches will join the sides of the wound together, allowing the skin to heal. I'll put just one more in the middle just to make sure. It's... I don't want to ruin your modelling career. Yeah, I've been paid millions for it. Three stitches later, and this dog's dinner's all cleaned up. And with Mark homeward bound, let's hope Henry's not too pleased to see him. He's probably not enjoying being left on his own for the afternoon now, but he's probably enjoying the smell of the blood around the house. <laughs> <laughs>